So a job has four applicants. How many ways to hire two of them? We'll assume that it is the same job they're applying for. That's really, really important in this problem. Well, the order does not matter in this problem. So order does not matter. It does not matter who was hired first. So this is a combinations problem. Combinations. If it's not clear why the order doesn't matter, uh, let's think about it. Let's say we have, uh, these will be the applicants, A, B, C, and D. These are the four distinct applicants. Let's say that um, we think A is the very best person, so we hire A. And we say, oh, you know what? B is really, really, really good too, so let's hire B after that. Okay, so we hired A and B. What if instead we say, hey, you know what? B is just better. They're nicer. They seem like they would fit in. Let's hire B first, and then we'll hire A after that. Well, did it make a difference which one we hired first? No, absolutely not, because they all get the same job. So order does not matter, so this is a combinations problem. Here, n is the total number of people, so n is 4, and we're hiring two people, so r is 2. And so the formula is 4 choose 2 equals 4 factorial divided by 4 minus 2 factorial 2 factorial, right? The general formula, I'll write it over here, is n choose r equals n factorial over n minus r factorial r factorial. So in this case, we just plugged in the n and the r and everything is good. So let's keep going. 4 factorial is 24, right? It's 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Here we get 2 factorial, which is 2. 2 factorial, which is 2, so we get 2 times 2. So we get 24 over 4, which is 6. So I think the hard part in this problem is not the computation. Many people just use calculators for this or some type of software. It's determining whether or not the order matters. So generally, when you're hiring people and they're all applying for the same job, the order in which they were hired uh, does not matter, so it's a combinations problem.